Hi, I'm Einar Goodman and this video is about me and my wife, Gila Henningsdottir. We spend weeks and months traveling and these videos are about our work. We are nature and landscape photographers living in Iceland, living our dream by photographing the beautiful land we live in and make it our living. Thanks for watching and welcome to our channel, Goodman and Gita. In this video we are going to the island of Grimsey which is a, a small Icelandic island, 40 kilometers of the north coast of the main island of Iceland, straddling the Arctic Circle with only 30 or 60 inhabitants every year. The plan was to go there and uh, get some winter scenes, but uh, the island was absolutely with no snow, but we got crazy sunrises and even some northern lights. And this is what we're going to show you in this video. There's a ferry going to Grimsey a few times a week, depends on what time of year it is. This is February, late February, and uh, the ferry is going between Dalvik and Grimsey all year even, but uh, the two takes about three hours each way, and the capacity of the ferry is about 108 passengers. I think I was with maybe two tourists who were going there late February, because Actually, people go to Grimsey more or less in the, in the summertime because then it's a crazy bird life you can get there. When we are out in Grimsey, Joey and Siggi and Henning, Gidar's brothers, they're all sailors in, uh, in Grimsey, they were busy landing a, a good catch of fish they had gotten earlier this morning. I believe they had uh, about 18 tons. The principal industry activity is commercial fishing in Grimsey and uh, collecting seabirds eggs are also common, but uh, they were actually on the news this day because um, there had been uh, a lot of earthquakes up to five point something in Richter and the, the TV station was there talking to Joey, Gida's brother. The whole family of Gida lives in Grimsey and uh, that's why it was very really nice for us to get there. We uh, stay in Hövdi, but uh, later in the day we arrived, we had uh, actually worsening weather, we had a snowstorm coming in. Well, it was not bad because we hoped the island would be white and I would be able to get a drone photos of uh, the white island, which I don't have. I only have the summer photos, but in the evening we had some crazy northern lights. I don't have videos from that because the video camera doesn't uh, take good photos in, in the darkness, but uh, I was really happy with, uh, with a few shots we got. The first morning it was very windy and uh, the good thing is that uh, there are steep cliffs everywhere and uh, we went to the west side of the island where it was almost no wind when we were getting cover from the rocks. I found two seascape rocks and near the beach and uh, took some long exposures and uh, well they're no masterpieces but uh, still later in the afternoon we uh, had a better weather went to the northernmost part of the island. I sent a drone down down to the Arctic Circle where it is. it's uh, it's at the northernmost part of, of the island. We took a walk there also. And uh, in 2017, a new monument comprising an eight ton, ton stone spear was uh, placed close to the true location of the circle in response to its continual movement. It's always moving. There are steep cliffs everywhere except on the southern shoreline and the Grimsey is uh, about 5.3 square kilometers or two square miles and uh, the uh, maximum elevation is uh, 105 meters or 344 feet. Gida was uh, quite uh, uh, well interested in uh, examining the, the cliffs and uh, I don't think her mother would like to see this video. She's probably going to uh, to uh, talk to her after seeing this, but uh, we really like to go there. It takes about 55 minutes to walk from the town to the Arctic Circle, and uh, 
Gita was always willing to risk something to get some spec spectacular views. We don't recommend that, of course, because it's dangerous and you have to know where you're going and know the island. There's a surprisingly rich bird life in February. This is in February and uh, I was surprised to see the birds already in the cliffs and by the, by the millions. But uh, the puffin is not there. It's not going to be there until in April. The first sunrise, a uh, second sunrise we had was very colorful. We had uh, almost an orange or a pink uh, style of colors. We went to the southern part of the island where we have the Shepikon. Uh, We had uh, two major uh, crazy colored sunrises. The first one was really pink. It was uh, strange to be there. It's, uh, this video is uh, unedited by, in, in colors and it's just taken on a GoPro Hero 5 session, small camera. No changes made by the colors. And uh, it was uh, nice to be there with the, the their magic hour is uh, maybe one hour, something like that, at this time of year. Again, it's uh, late February and uh, especially early in the morning, the, the colors were so pink, it was unbelievable. It was very nice to get some frame, but uh, since we are at the seascape uh, scene, it's uh, it's uh, not very uh, rich, but still the colors themselves, they speak for themselves and uh, I really like the outcome of this, but uh, later this is about the noon and uh, this is the second morning, it was a much more bluish tone in the, in the sunrise, but uh, still we had uh, some, well I would say quite nice shots from it. From it. The sun rises from the east in, in Grimshay and uh, in February and uh, it's really nice to see it come up from the horizon but the colors are extremely pink and some yellowish tones. Well, later in the day when it's closer to noon the colors change but still the sun shines into the rocks and uh, the wind makes the waves. This is the moment where uh, I destroyed my 1424 Nikon lens. That's a, another story actually, but uh, I have a new one by now and it's a different story and a point for a different video. This, these are one, one of the last photos taken with the lens. And uh, this photo, pink sunrise, is probably my favorite from the trip. It, the details of the D850 are amazing. You can zoom endlessly into the photo. And uh, after losing the lens, well, there was not uh, a bad idea to uh, change over to the drone. So I was uh, ending this by uh, wanting to get a, a sunrise photo of the island, even though the green colors of the summer are not there yet. But it's an it's amazing island. It's, it's a material for a new video to uh, cover it during the summertime, where you have crazy bird lives and uh, puffins everywhere around the island where you can photograph puffins from uh, two or three meters. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe if you like it. Thank you.